the grouchy ladybug. She's red like we recognize her red. The ladybugs are red with black dots. She has six legs. And she's an insect. And look, she's not smiling, is she? So let's find out why the ladybug is grouchy. First of all, I want to read you something about the ladybug up here. Aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's good for trees, shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. To the ladybugs, I have dedicated this book, Three Cheers for Them. So she really likes, he really likes ladybugs. This is The Grouchy Ladybug is written by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. So here are the fireflies, and there's the stars. Do you find the moon? Well, it's right there. There's the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. In other words, she flew in from this way. There she is. It saw a leaf with many aph aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. There she is. It saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So she's flying, one's flying in from the left, one's flying in from the right, and they want to eat all these aphids on the leaves. Because that's their food. And look up here, right up here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a clock, it says five o'clock. It's five o'clock in the morning. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want these aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? Oh, wow. If you insist, answered the friendly lady ladybug sweetly. It looked it looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. See, the friendly ladybug saying, good morning. And the grouchy ladybug is saying, go away. Oh, look at this. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. So at six o'clock, there's the yellow jacket right there. And up here in the clock, it says six o'clock. Little hands on the six, big hands on the twelve. So it's six o'clock. Let's turn this little page. At seven o'clock, it met a Met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, open its jaw, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So up here, seven o'clock. Little hands on the seven, big hands on the twelve. See all the clocks across here? Tells us what time of the day it's going to be. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with his long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So at eight o'clock, there it is, little hand on the eight, big hand on the 12. 
at nine o'clock and almost flew in a, to a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the late grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So here it is. It's nine o'clock. See, there's the sun coming up. Little hands on the nine, big hands on the twelve. It's nine o'clock. Every hour. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. But look, it's a big claw right there. See, now it's 10 o'clock. You see how the sun's getting further up in the sky. Little hand on the 10, big hand on the 12. The sun keeps going up two dozen higher in the sky. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So there's the skunk. And there's the ladybug. And look, the sky, the sun's getting higher in the sky. And now it's 11 a.m. Little hand. On the 11, big hand on the 12. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. It says, if you insist, I love that, see, look. It's a big snake all wrapped around here. I think he's going for lunch. Look, it's 12 o'clock. The sun is high up in the sky and the little hands on the 12 and the big hands on the 12. Because it's 12 o'clock. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So there's a ladybug, there's a hyena. And look, the sun, it's one o'clock, so it's gonna start going the other way a little bit. Big little hands on the one, big hands on the 12. So one o'clock. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating his chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So there's that gorilla, the ladybug, and now it's two o'clock. It's 2 p.m. So now the little hands on the two and the big hands on the 12. Now the sun's starting to go down the other way. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. There's a rhinoceros. There's this big horn. And the ladybug is right there. And the rhinoceros is still not big enough. And now... It's three o'clock, so the sun's kind of going down the other way, kind of going down in the west. Little hands on the three, big hands on the twelve and a clock. Three o'clock. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough for the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So there's his big trunk. There's the elephant. There's the big long trunk. Look, the ladybug is right there. And there's his tusk, his white tusk. See this, the, his, his uh, trunk here helps him eat and spray water. And his tusk help him lift things. And at 
it's four o'clock so sun's kind of starting to go down in the west here little hands on the four big hands on the 12. wow what can be bigger than the elephant for that ladybug oh my goodness at five o'clock it met a whale hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight but the whale did not answer at all you're not big enough anyway said the grouchy ladybug and flew off so here's this big well and the ladybug is right there look how little that ladybug is and see the water that comes out they do that ever so often if you look real careful you can see the whale's eye you can see in his eye just like us at five o'clock the sun must be down i don't see the sun but the little hands on the five and the big hands on the 12th for 5 p.m. And at, at 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. So it's 5.15, so it means that the little hands on the 5 and the big hands on the 3. Because from the 12, you count by 5s. 5, 10, 15. So it's 15 minutes after 5. Look how big that whale is. The ladybug is right there. And there's the big ocean. The whales live in the oceans. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug bug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, do you want to fight? but got no answer, so it flew on. So at 5.15, it's talking to the fin. Now at 5.30, it's talking to the whale's fin again. See, at 5.30. So the little hands on the five, the big hands on the six. 5.30. At a quarter to six, a grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey you, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug. Such a slap. Now it's a quarter to six. So that means kind of it's like 545. It's quarter to six. It means it's quarter of the hour. So there's the short hand is for the six. Long hands on the nine. Meaning it's 15 minutes to six. So you count up. Five, ten, fifteen. Wow, so now the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a slap. And let's see what happened. Then it flew across the sea and across the land. So that, that went flap, and there goes the ladybug. Tossed her all the way over. And look, the sun's just going down. Because it's like 6.45, a quarter to six. And there's a lighthouse over here. Wonder where the ladybug's gonna land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started. See, little hands on the six, big hands on the twelve. Says thank you. Ah, uh, here you are again," said the friendly ladybug. "You must be hungry. There are still some." Aphids, avids left. I have to think about that word a little bit. It's different. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. So see, now she has a smile. She went through that the whole day. Now she's very thankful to share. And the, the nice ladybug was going to share. The food. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. So there's the fireflies out dancing by the moon. And look right here. The friendly ladybug and the grouchy ladybug. But she wasn't grouchy anymore, was she? She was nice, so they both went to sleep by the leaf. Hope you enjoyed the book.
learning about the clock a little bit. And this is the author right here, Eric Carl. Love it. And for more books and resources, just go to homeschoolforlife.org. And uh, thank you very much.